Hey you guys, I'm back with another short video and this is just a video clip of me working on the underpainting of this landscape that I created back in October. If you guys check out one of my previous videos, I do have a clip of me actually finishing this. And this is some footage I just had and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just decided to put some value to this video by talking over it by being a a real artist working a full-time job and it's not your typical nine to five but it can be a ten to six or eight to four and pretty much i am starting to get into the career of using my psychology degree However, it's just not to the extent of where I want to be, but you know how that goes. You have to start somewhere and build up. And you just can't get it a fast way because life doesn't work like that. And it's the same thing that goes for being an artist. A lot of people feel like you can become an artist overnight or you can be an artist. Yes, you can be an artist by acquiring the technique and anybody can learn a technique a, a technique is a learned skill however what people don't understand is having the mental drive of going to sleep thinking about art waking up thinking about what is your next your next project going to be or how you're going to finish your next projects that you already started on weeks ago or maybe a week ago and even talking to your friends and family about your art goals on a day-to-day -day basis. That's how you know whether you are born into being an artist. And anyone can become an artist. You can, you're can you an artist from the time that you pick up a crayon and you draw scribbles on a wall or on paper. However, it's up to the person that keeps up with that momentum that they have and actually do something with that creativity to become an artist but on the side note of you have to pay bills you have to live you have to bring in food to survive you have to take care of your pets if you have pets and more importantly you have to take care of yourself as a human being you have to have those life essential things of having a roof over your head having clean water having clothes and all that stuff that goes along with being a regular person now however you want to have the energy to come back home or go to your studio to paint or to draw or to finish that comic book or finish that children's book that you've been working on and I'm talking about myself because I don't have I, I try to output as much energy as I can for myself and I tell my aunt on a day-to-day -day basis that I have to work for myself if I'm working for someone else it just doesn't work like that not in my head because if I can work for x y and z I can come home and work for me and yes it's gonna be times that I want to need a break just like you get a, a day off from your job okay I utilize that day off and put in more time for me because I know the time the more time I put it in it in what I'm doing the more value that I'm going to have as an artist mm -hmm. and that is just something that a lot of people don't understand and it's not up for them to understand because they will never understand what it really truly means to be an artist working a job for someone else J-O-B and just over broke and just having like the mindset like okay I know I'm good enough but is my work good enough to sell because people aren't buying it and it's I question that a lot since I am working this job I don't want to use the jobs that I work for other companies or other people as a crutch but this is just something I want you guys to just think about if you're an artist or you're a creator. You still have to work, but what are things that you still do or what do you sell yourself on a day-to-day -day basis to keep going?